the sacred melodies of anglo-norman religious poetry anglo-norman religious poetry stands as a testament to the spiritual and cultural fusion that occurred during the norman conquest of england in 1066 the blend of norman french and english vernacular gave rise to a remarkable body of religious verse reflecting the deep faith theological contemplations and devotional practices of the anglo-norman society in this comprehensive video we will explore the characteristics and themes of Anglo-Norman religious poetry, examine its historical and cultural context, discuss notable examples, and appreciate its lasting impact on the literary and religious traditions. Historical and cultural context The Norman conquest marked a significant turning point in English history, as the Normans brought with them their own language, culture, and religious practices. Anglo-Norman religious poetry emerged as a response to the dynamic interplay between the French-speaking Norman ruling class and the English-speaking populace. This poetic tradition flourished in the religious atmosphere of the medieval period, deeply influenced by Christian theology and liturgical practices. Characteristics of Anglo-Norman religious poetry Vernacular language Anglo-Norman religious poetry was composed in a unique blend of the Norman French and English vernacular, catering to both the Norman aristocracy and the English-speaking clergy and laity. This linguistic fusion allowed for a wider audience to engage with religious themes and teachings. Devotional and didactic themes The primary focus of Anglo-Norman religious poetry was on devotion to God, the saints, and the Virgin Mary. These poems served as a means to inspire piety, moral reflection, and spiritual growth. They often contained didactic elements, conveying theological concepts and offering moral instruction. Rhythmic and melodic qualities Anglo-Norman religious poetry exhibited a strong connection to music and oral performance. These poems were composed with rhythmic patterns and melodic qualities, intended to be recited or sung during religious ceremonies or gatherings. The lyrical nature of the verse enhanced the emotional and spiritual impact on the listeners. Themes in Anglo-Norman Religious Poetry Divine Love and Redemption Central to Anglo-Norman Religious Poetry was the theme of Divine Love and Redemption. Poems such as, The Harrowing of Hell, and, The Life of Saint Margaret, explored the redemptive power of Christ's sacrifice and the transformative nature of God's love for humanity. These verses invited the audience to contemplate their own salvation and embrace God's mercy. Saints and Miracles Anglo-Norman religious poetry celebrated the lives of saints and their miraculous deeds. Poems like, The Life of Saint Thomas Becket, and, The Life of Saint Catherine, depicted the exemplary lives of these holy individuals, showcasing their piety, martyrdom, and the wonders attributed to them. These verses sought to inspire devotion and foster a connection with the saints as intercessors. Contemplation of Death and the Afterlife Anglo-Norman religious poetry confronted the realities of mortality, urging contemplation of death and the fleeting nature of earthly existence. Poems such as, The Three Dead Kings, and, The Dialogue Between the Body and the Soul, emphasized the transient nature of worldly pleasures and the need for spiritual preparation for the afterlife. They encouraged the audience to reflect on the brevity of life and the importance of spiritual growth. 